the stars and stripes, borne aloft by the wonders of science and the spirit of freedom. Wherever danger issues a mighty challenge, the Liberty Flyer will go. These are the tales of the Liberty Flyer! Tonight's episode is sponsored by the Prywall Shipping Line. Our old-fashioned commercial sailing vessels boast comfort, traditional charm, and above all, safety. Now offering trips from New York to London in only 1.5 months. And now tonight's story, a chilling tale of suspense set upon the moody moors of England. Welcome to Wigington Manor. Lord Wigington himself will greet you inside. Thank you, Mr. Branson. Wigington Manor, an imposing Gothic estate built hundreds of years ago and impeccably preserved. It's like a jewel of ornate stone embedded at the center of these vast, foggy moors. I hope Lord Wigington is receptive to your queries, Alvis. He's got to be. My contact at Oxford says the shard we're looking for was definitely sold to him. Don't worry about a thing. We Hollywood types know how to schmooze. Just let me do the talking. You must be Mr. Franz Blowski. The reception is just beyond the foyer. Thanks, Jeeves. My name is Wadsworth, sir. The who's who of English aristocracy surround us in this beautiful reception hall. There's even some foreign nobles here. Yes, there's Baron Wurttemberg of Bavaria. I'm scanning the balconies, half expecting to spot the king himself. You're getting us weird looks. Do you have to do that recording now? This story must be told. Besides, the wealthy love to be talked about. There he is. Lord Wigington himself. Follow my lead. Is that Mr. Franz Blowski? Ha! A Hollywood mogul. In my own home. Welcome. <laughs> I have been so deeply enthralled by your documentaries on primitive tribes and their strange ways. Maybe I'll make one about the Brits someday. <laughs> strange ways indeed. And these are your associates? Yes. This is Miss Laura Lamour. Charmed, my dear charm. And uh, who is this? Albert Sinclair, my partner in crime. Pleased to meet you, sir. The eminent archaeologist. I trust you're hoping to examine part of my collection? Well, actually, yes. I was hoping to ask. I simply must quiz you. <laughs> that gold idol. Over the mantelpiece. Can you identify it? Hmm. Inkin, from the reign of Pachacutec, judging by the artistry. You certainly know your history. <laughs> Well, the Inca are one of my favorite civilizations, sir. Their empire was unrivaled in pre-Columbian history. <laughs> if you can truly call them a civilization. <laughs> Brought to their knees by less than 200 Spaniards? Sounds like no great empire to me. Um, yes, well, uh, there was actually one piece I was hoping to talk to you about. Care for some wine, sir? Why, certainly. Uh, oh, 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 Westinghouse! You buffoon! You've spilled wine all over Dr. Sinclair! Clean this up immediately! Uh, apologies, my lord! I'm so sorry. Please forgive my wretched footman. He is new. He came on as a valet and was so abysmal at those duties I removed him. I've only let him stay on as a footman out of the goodness of my heart. And he will soon be improving or he'll find employment elsewhere. Yes, my lord. Oh, it's all right. Mistakes are mistakes. Anyways, as I was saying, you recently were sold a, uh... Ah, time for dinner. Please join us in, uh, at the table. We'll discuss the antiquities after dessert. Yes, of course. The dining room. Listeners, never have I seen such an eclectic display of statues, masks, and tapestries from all over the world. Lord Wigington truly is a master collector. 
I think those are Chinese terracotta warriors in each corner. This sure is a crowded table. It may be difficult to get a word edgewise with the master of the house. I hope to God he's willing to sell us the shard we're after. We get him drunk enough, he'll sell us anything. Bread and cheese, madam. Why, well, yes, thank you, Westinghouse. So, doctor, tell me more about this shard. It's a Tibetan spirit dagger found somewhere in a monastery in the Himalayas. The blade is cold and iridescent. My colleague at the museum thought it was some kind of volcanic glass, but I now believe the blade may have been forged from a Zambulan shard. Forgive me, gentlemen. I'm suddenly feeling quite ill. By all means, tend to yourself. The men can wait for their bread and cheese. Apologies. Excuse me. Strange. He was fine a minute ago. Lord Wigington is rising. <coughs> Attention, please. I'd like to say a few words. Uh, first off, thank you all for accepting my invitation, even in these frightening times. But we must address the future of our countries. I take it many of you have ascertained the reason for this meeting. Two days ago, the Iron Storm issued the following statement. <clears throat> in uh, three weeks' time, all European heads of state are ordered to report to a summit meeting in Lucerne, Switzerland, where emissaries of the Iron Storm will formally relieve them of all authority, yes, abolishing the archaic aristocracies that have held Europe back from true progress. <laughs> the poppycock is what continues after that. These demands are unacceptable. Yeah, yeah. I tell you now, we will not submit to these bullies. Yeah, yeah, Europe yeah. survived one war. If they want another, we'll give it to them. We will not stand for this sort Something of Something suspicious it's about that footman. Did you notice how nervous he was? I'm going to investigate. You think it's to do with the spirit dagger? Maybe. He suddenly got ill right after you mentioned it, and Lord Wigington said he was a new hire. He certainly doesn't seem to fit in here. I have a feeling he didn't take this job to pursue a career in service. We're coming too. He headed through this door. I think it leads to the basement. We'd better go down there. Listeners, we're going down into the lower floor. There's the door to the servants' quarters, there's the kitchens, and around here... My word. Looks like we found the bulk of the collection. This basement is stuffed full of crates. There's straw everywhere and ancient artifacts haphazardly arranged into a winding labyrinth. Look at this pottery. That Easter Island head, those Cambodian statues. These things deserve better treatment. There, in the corner, there's a man. It's Westinghouse, reading a scroll. <laughs> in front of him. That's an Egyptian sarcophagus. He's opened it! Welcome, fools. You're just in time to witness the crocodile warrior's return. The ritual is complete. I didn't want to do this, but your presence forced my hand. The mummy's eyes, they're glowing beneath the bandages. The only thing that can stop Sobekatep now is the spirit dagger itself. Pray you find it before I do. Glory to the storm! He's one of them. Get him! You'll never catch me! The general will devour your souls. <laughs> the mummy, it's coming to life. Akuda, Akumde, Hesha Asu Palato. My bullets are useless. I've just made him mad. Run for it. <laughs> that Easter Island head. If we knock it over, it might slow him down. Alvis, Eli, get over here and push. One. Two, three! Did that occupy him for a moment? We have to warn the party goers. Up the stairs, quick! What is the meaning of this? First you leave in the middle of my speech without excusing yourselves, and now you- Everyone must evacuate immediately. There's a mummy on the loose. What? Oh, That's oh. absurd. Oh. Sounds like the Pharaoh got her on our blockade! Akuhan, Turagul, 
Aki Bata! Aki Mo! That's our cue to exit! Into the library! Quick! Wait! Wait for me! Raku! Unhand me, you wretched ghoul! No! No! Shut the door! Knock the bookcase over! We've got to get these people to safety. The flyer is hovering in the clouds above this estate. It could surely take them all. I've got the portable radio. Mannheim! Come in, Mannheim! Yeah, hello. We need emergency rescue for a crowd of people fleeing the mansion. Confirmed. I will be seeing to pick them up. What about you? We can't leave. We have to stay here and find that shard dagger before he does. It's the only way. When you're right, you're right. That's a negative on us, Mannheim. Just wait for us there. I send Bartling to help. What are we gonna do? That's General Sobekatep out there, the most bloodthirsty commander in Egyptian history. Even the Pharaoh feared him. It's said that the wild beasts themselves joined his fight when he was near. What are we gonna do? Elvis, snap out of it. We've got to find that shark. Oh, it's probably buried somewhere in that labyrinth in the basement. And we can't go back out there without running into the mummy. Well then, we're just gonna have to find another way to the basement. This room is a dead end. We're trapped in here. And our friend Westinghouse is already ten steps ahead of us. Damn, that devious butler. That's it! The butler! What are you talking about? Manor houses like this are always riddled with secret passageways for the servants and housekeeping staff to discreetly move from room to room. You saying there might be another way out of here? It's the best we can hope for. Look around for hidden doors. There could be one anywhere. Here! This bookcase! I feel cool air emanating from the sides. It won't budge. There's got to be a way to unlatch it. Tug on every book. There might be a secret lever. Can it? We got company. They're coming in from the ceiling. Wait. That's no mummy. That's... Rodwang. Stiegsundingsten. Mannheim must have dropped him through the roof to help us. Ah! And not a moment too soon. Rodwang. Put your immense robot strength to good use and help us open this bookcase door. Yeah. Nice work. Everyone in. Quick. Now close it again. Rodwang, I could kiss you. In the shoe. It's just as I thought. A stairway right down to the servants' quarters. Sure is dark and musty. The stairway goes both ways. The upward path must lead to the second story. Listeners, we're heading down into the darkness. There! The door to the basement! We're back in the labyrinth of crates now. Looks like it's been ransacked. Open crates, bits of straw, and small stone items are scattered everywhere. Oh, this is tragic. Priceless idols from Olmec temples. Masai spears just thrown about as if they were garbage. Focus, Dark. What's that on the ground? Over there. It's the scroll Westinghouse used to summon Sobekotep. He must have dropped it in his haste to find the shard. What does it say, Doctor? Great Crocodile General, whose fight rages on in purgatory, answer the Pharaoh's call and claim your eternal victory that you may have peace in the afterlife. We don't need that bit. Isn't there an incantation to put him back in the ground? No, there's nothing. Just the spell to raise him. Just our luck. What does all that about war and victory mean? So Bekotep was killed in a great battle with Egypt's northern rivals over 3,000 years ago. It is said that for his failure, Osiris barred him from entering the afterlife until he returned at the Pharaoh's command to finish what he started. So by eternal victory, it means... The world, yes. He won't rest until he's brought the world to its knees in the name of the Pharaoh. That's the ultimate victory. Well, that's nothing I like. How do you get this mummy back under wraps? The shard dagger we're after is the only way. The ancient Tibetan books described it as having the power to kill the dead. Then we'd better hurry up and follow Westinghouse's trail. Gentlemen, hold on a moment. These crates have not been completely searched. Look, there's still three statues totally covered in this one. He didn't even dig through the straw. He's not being careful. He must be more panicked than he leads on. Or maybe all this mess is just a trail of breadcrumbs for us to follow. He knows the shard isn't down here. He just ransacked the place to make us think it was, so we'd waste our time looking for it. You might be on to something. But where do we look now? Lord Wigington said Westinghouse had started as a valet. 
That means his duties would include attending to the master of the house directly as he got ready in the morning and dressed for dinner in the evening. That means Westinghouse would have been one of the few servants given access to the master bedroom. Of course. A highly valuable artifact such as that and a new acquisition, it must have been on display in the master bedroom. We gotta hurry. Up the stairs, quick. Rotwang, you go first. You look like the kind of guy who could lick a mummy. The upstairs hallway of Wigington Manor, the walls lined with elegant tapestries between medieval suits of armor. The mansion is quiet, dark, and deserted. There's neither sight nor sound of the mummy, but we know he's still in the house by the vile stench of his putrid flesh. Here, the master bedroom. Rotwang, you stay out of here and patrol this hallway. If anything shows up, warn us. Yeah. Well, no Westinghouse. Maybe our Egyptian friend caught up to him. Listeners, we're in the master bedroom, and what lies before us is a grisly monument to Lord Wigington's thirst for power and glory. There are trophy heads mounted all over the walls, all African animals, rhinos, impala, a mighty elephant, and in the center of the room, facing the four-post bed, a complete mounted lion with a scar across its right eye. The man-eater of Karatu. I'd recognize him anywhere. Look around for the knife. It's got to be here somewhere. There are several rusty knives mounted here, and a small cowhide shield. That's a Maasai lion fighting shield. I did a picture on their way of life. A Maasai warrior would prove his manhood by going toe-to-toe with a lion, using nothing but that tiny shield and a dagger. There, over the bed, a wall mount for a small dagger. It's empty. Westinghouse must have beaten us to it. We've got to find him before he escapes. Uh, boys, we might have a more pressing concern. Holy mackerel, the lion. He's come to life. His eyes are glowing, just like the mummy. Just like in the legends. The wild beast joined his fight. <laughs> Laura, toss me that shield and a dagger. Here, catch. Doc, run and get Rockway. No argument here. Eli, are you sure about this? No, but I'll never forget how I saw them aside to it. All right, man-eater. Come get a taste of me. Will Eli Franz Blowski survive the epic struggle of man against beast? Stay tuned and find out. But first, a word from the Prywall shipping line. Do you yearn for the charm of old-fashioned sailing? Does today's world of diesel and coal move too fast for you to take in the scenery? Then choose Prywall for your next overseas voyage. All the comforts of traditional sailing for weeks and weeks on end. And now back to our story in progress. Listeners, Franz Blowski is using the tiny shield to distract the lion, moving it around like a bullfighter's cape. The lion is swiping at the shield instead of Eli's head. Come on, Leo. Get a little closer and I can get a jab in. Aha! He stabbed it, but it isn't bleeding. It's just angry. I've never known a taxi German animal to bleed. Uh, this spear looks sturdy. Take that! Thanks, Laura. Now I got this lion right where I want him. Take that! I guess all that time I spent in the Serengeti had an effect after all. Look out! Ah! He's got me pinned! Count Morda finish the earth. Broadway! He's lifting the lion straight into the air! He's carrying it to the window, and... Thanks, Rotwang! I was almost a goner! All that noise is likely to attract unwanted company. We should get downstairs as soon as possible and find Westinghouse. Agreed. Need a hand up, Eli. No, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ooh, I'm fine. We've reached the grand staircase leading down to the ballroom. All set up for a beautiful party that's never going to happen. I'm gonna radio Mannheim. Mannheim! Come in, Mannheim! 
I'm here. All the party guests are safe aboard the fire. They're telling such horrible stories about the mummy. What's going on? A member of the Iron Storm got the knife we've been looking for. We needed to stop the mummy. Can you use a teletransmitoscope to see if he's still in the mansion? Well, it's meant for bigger objects, but we might be close enough. Wait! Someone's coming! Through the door! Down there! It's Subikotep! Duck behind the banister! We gotta go, man Iron. What? What is wrong? I, I come to help. What do we do? He's cutting off our only way out. He's kneeling in the center of the ballroom. What is he doing? He's saying, Great King Osiris, I have begun my fight. I will give you... Oh dear. The world. Not on my watch. Rotwang, you might not be able to kill him, but you can sure slow him down. Come on, Rotwang. Show the general who's the boss. Rotwang! Oh, that ain't good. He's definitely out of commission. Any bright ideas? Someone else is coming. It's Westinghouse! He's got the dagger! Crocodile General, fall to your knees before your master. Fall off, neck! I have the spirit dagger. Only I can kill the undead. So, Bekotep, the pharaoh of Egypt is 3,000 years dead. I hereby bind you to the will of the Iron Storm. Serve our cause in bringing order to this world, and you will achieve your peace. Defy us, and I shall return you to your hell below the mortal plane. Join us now and claim your eternal victory. Kneel before me! Foolish mortal! You will bow to me or perish! This is your last warning. I will stab you! Then you shall die! Unhand me! Take that! Stabbed him! Your mummy's shriveling up! Such a pity. The storm could have made good use of your power. <laughs> To him. Oh no. I should have foreseen this. The dagger can separate the soul from the body, but it couldn't send it to the afterlife. The curse is not yet satisfied. The mummy's soul is taking on a new body. Westinghouse! I am reborn. Well, Doc, now the butler's the mummy. Any bright ideas? Eternal victory. Eternal victory. Doc, any day now. Eternal vi- Yes! Yes, of course! Doctor, get back down. He'll see you. So, Bekotep, have you come to slay me also, Scholar? No. I've come to negotiate. Doc, are you crazy? I will accept naught but surrender. Bend the knee before me or perish. Killing me won't bring you any closer to paradise, General. It will only prolong your curse. What do you know of my curse? I have suffered three thousand years. I will suffer no more. You've been fighting a losing battle. I understand now what the curse really means. Osiris died to give all mortals eternal life. He barred you from the afterlife because you died giving death. War only begets war. Your words amuse me, Susea, but they will not save you. Doc, roll to the side. I'm gonna shoot his arm off. Drop your gun, Eli. Are you nuts? Do it, he's on to something. Fine, but when we reach the afterlife, You'll hear an earful from me, for all eternity. The eternal victory isn't achieved through conquest. The eternal victory is to stop fighting, to make peace. It's your choice, Subekotep. Will you walk with Osiris beside the verdant Nile, or will you walk a never-ending path of blood? You are a strange man, but perhaps not so foolish. Great King Osiris, I will fight no more. My battle is ended. Will you welcome me into the afterlife? Listeners, there's a great golden light filling this room. There, through the wall, a spectral chariot. It's coming to collect the general. Travelers, 
You, you have, have saved me from a terrible fate. May the gods smile on you, and may you find your own peace. Farewell. So Bekotep is stepping out of Westinghouse's body and onto the chariot. His ghostly form is youthful and golden. The chariot is riding away. The wall, it, it's vanishing in ripples as if there were only a mirage in the desert. And beyond it, I see a sunset. The shimmering waters of the Nile. And it's gone. The room is back to normal. So Bekatep's soul is nowhere to be seen. Only the limp body of the errant Westinghouse remains. I'm here, and ready to fight. Where is the mummy? It's okay, Mannheim. The mummy moved on, and we got the... Rodving! Oh, my robot manservant. Who did this to you? Will he be all right, Mannheim? The damage is repairable. Oh, I should have never let him go on his own. Next time, I will be here to protect him. He did a pretty decent job of protecting us for a while there. Here on the floor, the dagger! We've got it at last! That's one more Zambulin shard kept out of the Iron Storm's clutches. So much destruction caused by 3,000-year-old souvenir? None of this would have happened if the English had just left the mummies in their tombs. Well, listeners, we've saved the world from enslavement and acquired the shard we needed. We're one step closer to stopping the Iron Storm in its tracks. I hope we can find the others. I hope we can rescue Charles Lindbergh. And when it's all over, I hope there's someone left to listen to this. Tune in next month for more Tales of the Liberty Flyer. Tonight's story, brought to you by Prywall Shipping, starred Rissy Dollins as Laura Lemoore, Nikki Shane as Eli Franz Blowski, Josh Pinkowski as Dr. Alvis Sinclair and Westinghouse, Mark Scoggins as Mannheim Munsterberg and Sobekotep, Brian Jers as Lord Wiggington, and Chris Nebergall as Rotwag. Tales of the Liberty Flyer is created by Chris Nebergall and Drew Franz Blau, with music by Bobby Braden. Thanks for listening, and remember to keep your eye on the skies for the Liberty Flyer!